Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal here on February 2nd, 2012. I went to Walmart today because I had um, a call from the store manager yesterday regarding the issue that I had right before Christmas where the cashier had charged me for an item that I did not purchase. Nobody could tell me what the item was. It had a really bizarre UPC code. They couldn't even pull it up. So the um, manager called me today and or last night and we went over the whole story again and he asked me if I could bring the receipt in to show him. So since he was going to be there today I decided just to go and get it over with so I went today and while I was there I decided to find these Breathe Right strips and also the um, Band-Aid flexible fabric 8 count. So I had one dollar off coupons for the band-aids so I had four of those I bought four of the band-aids and they were 97 cents making each one a three cent um, money maker and then I finally found the breathe right I looked everywhere in the store couldn't find them finally found them on the side of an end cap and I took seven of those I had seven one dollar and fifty cent coupons for a twelve count or lower and these were 97 cents each, so each one was a 53 cent money maker. And I went to go check out. I decided I was not going to buy something to cover my overage this time. I was going to see how the transaction went if I just got my money back and, you know, because they keep saying corporate and store manager keep assuring me that things have changed and please keep shopping there, that, you know, that they're training the, ca the cashiers, that there'll be no issue. So I decided to do that and I went to go check out. Of course it did not go smoothly. It took for these 11 small items I was checking out I would say for like 15 minutes if not longer. It really was ridiculous what you go through to get some money back from them or to use coupons for that matter. So. My total came out to ten sixty seven before coupons, and then I had the seven one fifty off, and then the the four one dollar offs, making it three dollars and eighty three cents that they had to pay me for buying these. The cashier wasn't happy about it. She called other employees over. They didn't seem to be happy about it. Sometimes I wonder if there's a rule at Walmart saying that the cashier has to pay for your coupons because the way they treat you, you would think so. But anyway, so I walked out with a 383 profit, which is good, and got some Breathe Right strips and some Band-Aids. So hopefully my next purchase will be a lot larger, and I hope to get a lot more stuff and get some more money back from them because I've decided that unless I need something... I will no longer be finding items to, to spend the overage on. If I have an overage and there's nothing else I need, I'm just going to start getting the money back like other people do and, and not worry about what they, they think. So, anyways, this was just my small haul today. I just went there and ran to Target, but that was only to get a few items for um, some green onions and some sour cream and stuff for the chicken and cheese enchiladas I made for dinner tonight. So nothing else. That was it. And like I said, I only went there because the store manager asked me to come in so that he could make a copy of the receipt. He's still curious to find out what that guy charged me for. He said he was new, so maybe it was a mistake, but I, I still don't believe that. Oh, also too, um, besides the 383, I also got a $30 money card because of the issue we had with the toothbrushes. And I did a video on that where I had problems the first time and the manager ended up giving me a gift card for the overage because it wasn't coming up on the register. Well, when I went back and I bought more of those toothbrushes, I didn't even ask for the overage because I had the customer service manager there who had to okay the coupon and she was the one who gave me who actually told me I could not use that coupon to begin with the first time I tried using it 
and the store manager said no it was the right item it was the right, the coupon was good I could use it so I didn't want to deal with her again so I I foregled the, the overage and I shouldn't have so while we were talking yesterday I I thought you know he said oh I'll give you the money and I said well he did pay me you know, give me the overage for four so I brought the other receipts in. Actually, I brought all the receipts in for the toothbrushes, and I showed them. So he ended up giving me $30 um, uh, extra. I didn't have $30 in overage, but that's what he gave me and stuff, I guess, for all the trouble and everything. So that was kind of nice, too. So I went to Walmart, and I walked out with $33.83 and seven Breathe Rights and four packages of Band-Aids. So all in all, it was a good day. So thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe.